Hello, how to solve this problem? x raised to power 4 equals to x raised to power 3 minus x plus 1 equals to 0. Here, let's rearrange this equation as x raised to power 4, then plus 1, minus x raised to power 3, minus x is equals to 0. And uh, from here, let's take minus out here. Then bring the rest inside the bracket. So we have x raised to the power 4 plus 1, then minus into bracket x raised to the power 3, then become plus x here, then equals to 0. We have taken minus out, then what we have here will be plus. Then from here, let's separate this to the right hand side, and we have x raised to the power 4 plus 1 will be equals to when minus comes here become plus that will be x raised to the power 3 plus x then the next step let's divide both sides by x raised to the power 3 plus x so as to make this side to be four to be equals to 1 so we have x raised to the power 3 plus x then divide by x raised to the power 3 plus x and uh, this equation will be reduced to, on the right hand side, we are going to have 1, and uh, we can write this as x raised to power 4 plus 1 divided by x raised to power 3 plus x, then will be equals to 1. And then let's try to make the left hand side to have something like x plus 1 over x common. Then we divide the terms in the left hand side by x raised to power 2. Then we can write this again as x raised to power 4 divided by x square, then plus 1 divided by x square. Also, the denominator as well will be divided by x square. So we have divided by x raised to power 3 divided by x squared, then plus x divided by x squared, which will be equals to 1. And then from here, when we reduce what we have here, from the law of indices, we have same base, then we can subtract the power. So this will reduce to x raised to the power 2, then plus this same thing as 1 over x raised to the power 2, then divided by here as well. When we subtract the power, two my three minus two that's just one. That will simply be x. Then plus. Also, here we reduce to one over x. Then from here we equate it to one, and then we have x plus one over x. We can also write this in terms of x plus one over x. From what we have here, when we square this, the same thing as the square of this will give us x square, then plus 2 times x times 1 over x, that's plus 2, then plus 1 over x square. Then we can take this to here now in order to make x square plus 1 over x square to stand alone. So we can say that x square plus 1 over x square now will then be equals to x plus 1 over x all square then minus 2 when we take this to here that's minus 2 then instead of writing this now in this place we can simply write x plus 1 over x all square minus 2 and uh, this equation will become x plus 1 over x all squared then minus 2 over x plus 1 over x will then be equal to 1 and from here we have x plus 1 over x common here so we can use a letter to represent that and say let a letter u now be equal to 1 x rather be equals to x plus 1 over x. 
and we write this equation again in term of u so that we have u square minus 2 over u v equals to 1. Then we solve this equation. We cross multiply. We have u square minus 2 equals to u times 1. That's u. Then we can rearrange. Bring everything to one side to form a quadratic equation. So we have u square minus u minus 2 equals to 0. We can factorize this quadratic equation and where we have u square minus 2u plus u then minus 2 will be equals to 0 and then when we group this one to 2 we bring u out here we have u into bracket u minus 2 then plus 1 is common here 1 into bracket u minus 2 then equals to 0 and by the time we take what is common, which is u minus 2 out, we have u minus 2, then into bracket u plus 1, which is equals to 0. And uh, we have two cases here. We have u minus 2 is equals to 0. And uh, also we have u plus 1 is equals to 0. From here, we have u equals to 2. And uh, similarly from here, we have u equals to minus 1. And uh, don't forget what we represented u as. We let u to be equals to x plus 1 over x. That means that's equals to 2 here. And also x plus 1 over x is equals to minus 1 here. We can multiply through by x in order to clear this you know fraction and x times x here we have x square plus x times 1 over x that's 1 equals to x times 2 that's 2x so bring 2x to this side as well then we have x square minus 2x plus 1 which will be equals to 0 here and uh, this exp expression on the left can be summarized as x minus 1 all squared Expansion of this will give us this, which is equal to 0. Then, we can take the square root on both sides here. Square root on this side, then square root on this side. Square cancel square, we have x minus 1 equals to square root of 0, that's 0. Then, take minus 1 here, we have x equals to 1. So, this is one of the value of x. And from here, as well, we can solve and multiply through by x in order to clear this fraction. So x times x, that's x squared, plus x times 1 over x, that's 1, equals to x times minus 1 minus x. Then let's take minus x here as well. Then this become x squared. This become x squared, then plus x now, plus 1, equals to 0. Here, we can solve this using the quadratic formula. And uh, x will now be equals to minus b, and b is 1, minus 1 plus or minus square root of b squared, that's 1 square minus 4, a is 1, c is 1, then all over 2 times a. And by the time we solve this, we have minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 over 2. And 1 minus 4 there is minus 3. A square root of minus 3 can be written as square root of 3r. And here we have minus 1 plus or minus square root of 3i, then over 2. So here we have two complex, you know, solution from here. And then we have one real solution, which is x equals to 1. And therefore, we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on any of our uploads. You can also share and also if you have any comment, and put it in the comment section. See you in the next class and bye for now.